Good morning. Just want to take a few minutes and show you my internal solar setup. I have a rich solar charge controller that is a 20 amp MPPT. And um, I have it set inside my little device for my table. I don't, I don't know what you call this thing, but it's uh, um, a little safe there for some personal items for wallet and um, etc. But inside of here I have wired up uh, the charge controller and then a couple load things right directly off of this. So this goes in and charges my house battery that's under the hood um, of this old vehicle. And um, here you can see that the battery's at 100% and I have used it actually quite a bit this morning. I'll show you some things I have connected to it, but you can see that uh, right now the battery's at 14.4 volts. Um, 3.42 amps are coming, I'm sorry, are load right now. And I'll show you the devices I have connected to it. Um, six amps are coming in from the solar panels at the moment. And uh, there's a nine amp load, it's gonna change again, I'm sure. 20 degrees Celsius at the batteries. Um, let's see, no error. And back up to uh, kind of the full display there. Um, up above, I have a little fuse block for the DC load, and then over here is the fuse that uh, separates the charge controller from the battery. Um, now, the only load that I have directly attached to the charge controller are two um, USB and uh, a little cigarette lighter charger um, setups that are on each side of the table. I thought it was a nice little place to conceal it because uh, of what I um, do right around this table. Um, as you come out, you can see the most important device that I have plugged in here is off the 12 volt socket and it comes down and it is a 12 volt coffee maker. Uh, this means I don't have to turn my generator on, I can just turn that baby on. I'm gonna do it right now and we'll come back and actually look at the uh, drain it creates for the system in a moment. That is very important. It's running, uh, I think, my sixth cup of decaf. I switched on the last cup to decaf. I don't wanna blow my uh, heart up or anything like that with too much caffeine. Over here, um, you can see the load on a Jackery. And you can see the screen there. It's at 97% charge, 41% watts going in, six watts going out. And the six watts going out go over to um, a Ryobi battery charger that I use for a vacuum. Um, I use it for little tools that uh, I need for a little drill. And I even keep a, uh, um, a little chainsaw that's electric Ryobi in here because um, I can use it to cut up little pieces of wood that I find. So we'll go back in here now and look at uh, what's happening with the system as we have it all loaded up. And you can see we're down to 12.8 volts um, 16.3 volts coming in on the panels right now um, 5.79 amps are coming in from the Sun um, batteries drop down to 73 and you can just see them diving as it uses the uh, amps for the uh, little uh, coffee maker which is kind of cool 12.6 volts in that battery right now um, 17.63 amps of load. So um, that's what happens there. One of the little features I decided to go with, I, I have another load on here. It's a USB, and I only put in the fast chargers that are three amps. Um, and that actually runs a little radio and docking station where I can run my Pandora. But over here, instead of having to open that door when the table is out, I can actually just come over here and I have a little voltmeter that runs off a USB and you can see the 11.9. It's dropping pretty good. So um, I don't want to keep it under load um, down near 10. So I just kind of watch that a little bit and I can do it easily without having to avoid it by getting down on my knees. I can just look at that voltmeter. So anyway, that's the internal system that runs on the load side of the charge controller. Um, hope you enjoyed the video.